crashing out or the moment you feel so angry that any rational thought is gone and your mind thinks of some stuff that I should not say this early on in the video. But what are these valid crash outs or moments where such thoughts and intents are appropriate? Now, I could say some examples like not being treated seriously and the professor yapping at 7am. But there are some examples that are justifiable than others. Have you ever been with a group and you're all hanging out and you crack a joke? And you're met with silence. The joke was so cheeks that no soul even did a fake laugh. Combo that with the fact that they can't hear you or understand the joke. Yo, this is like that one time I drugged this one stripper. What? I said this is like that one time I drugged this one stripper. Yeah, but... But why? You know, to get my money back. Oh. Especially if I'm in a friend group I'm not accustomed to, and they crack a joke and no one heard it, laughed, or understood it. Bro, no soul in that group is coming home alone. Either that or I'm never speaking to them ever again. Here's another one y'all might know. Telling a joke and the person who repeated it said it louder and everyone laughs. What's worse is that you told the joke first, and no one laughed. But when this one person said it again but louder, everyone laughs? I'm airing out the place. This is another one. When you trash talk the enemy mid-game and you lose. And what's worse is that you're not even the reason you lost. You lost because of your stupid teammate. So, you mean to tell me that the moment I insulted our enemy, you decided to play blindfolded with both arms behind your back and with a 10-inch plastic dragon glizzy up your ass. Essentially giving the enemy kills, increasing the enemy team's economy, in turn giving them better weapons and items, and finally giving them the upper hand to win? So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll track you down GeoGuessr style and bomb your location Middle Eastern style. Ah yes, the dreaded she's busy little bro message. On God, if I ever get that message, three people are gonna die tonight. Maybe more. But before any of that happens, here's what's gonna happen. Look, not only did bro stole your girl, got her begging for back shots, but bro called you little bro. If there's an attachment with the she's busy little bro text, here's what's gonna happen. First off, I'll send that attachment to her parents, to her friends, to her professors, where she works, hell, the entire world's gonna know. Look, that's not even the worst thing that could happen to me for a valid crash out. Cause the worst thing that could happen, just happened. A few weeks ago, I made a video talking about this channel called Pan Piano. You can watch the video to know more about the topic, but essentially, Pan Piano is a YouTuber with millions of subscribers playing the piano in skimpy clothing, and does lewd content. So I made a video, yeah, talking about her. And guess what? The video got taken down for porn and nudity. Okay, no big deal. It must be some autistic YouTube bots just not doing its job properly. So I submitted an appeal to have a real human being look at my video. And guess what? The real human being who reviewed the video rejected the appeal and still insists that there's porn and nudity in the video. Like, did a real human being watch the video? Cause if they did, they would know the source of this said adult content comes from YouTube itself. How in God's green earth is Pan Piano's videos with these Jav tiered thumbnails and illicit clothing still up with over millions of views and subscribers while a video explaining her channel got taken down? How? And to add insult to injury, the re-upload of that video got the yellow monetization mark. And guess the reason why the video was not suitable for most advertisers? That's right, adult content. Who runs this site? Better yet, who owns this site? What kind of sick and demented injustice is this? You let videos and channels like these run freely on your platform and yet remove videos that talk about them? Is it because they bring in the most views? Oh, I'm sorry I'm not a woman with big tits and do the same. The people who run this site are gooner deviants. You're all a bunch of hypocritical gooners, you piece of shit nigg-
Good day, nonchalant dreadheads. It's Thotty's editor here again. Unfortunately, I have to cut the video short because Thotty's rants consist of screaming and lots of slurs that even censoring them can still lead to a video takedown. Thotty crashed out so much that he didn't leave me with any anime ASMR for you guys at the end of the video. And since it's tradition, I will have to do the ASMR for you guys instead. Hmm, bratty? Well, if I'm being a brat, it's only because my master isn't giving me enough attention. Another reason. What are you getting at, master? Why else would I be nagging you like this? Okay, you got me. I'm horny. Really, really horny. You've been so busy, and you haven't given me a proper fucking all week. A whole week? Can you imagine what that does to a person? And just being near you makes my pussy start tingling. Don't pretend you haven't heard me masturbating during the day.